All right, my loves, it's reading time. So we're going to read this book. I do read book four. We're going to read the whole thing because it's the last time you're reading this. After we're done reading it today, you are all done with this book. Next time you have reading, you're going to have a brand new book. So I need you to open with me to the very first page. And we're going to read it together. Are you there? Very first page. I'm reading, but I want you reading too. You should be reading along with me. Okay, remember working that expression and reading smoothly. Bedtime. Luke is five. Meg is six. Meg has a rag doll. The doll's name is Kate. So how old is Luke, kiddos? Yes, he is five. And what about Meg? Six. Yes, six is after five. So Meg is bigger. She's older than Luke. Very good. Let's go to page three. Luke and Meg like to read. At bedtime, Luke reads to Meg. Meg reads to Kate. Mom tucks Luke and Meg and Kate in bed. Good night. Sleep tight. So, to whom does Luke read at bedtime? Yes, he reads to Meg. And what about Meg? Who does she read to? To Kate. Yes, good job. And who tucks them in in bed? Mom. Awesome job. Okay, let's keep going. Page four. Let's eat. It is time to eat. Meg and Luke will help. Mom will fix eggs on the stove. Meg will make toast. Luke will get the jam. Dad will get the milk. Yum, yum, let's eat. What will mom fix? She'll fix eggs, yes, are the eggs broken? No, so what does it mean when it says that mom will fix eggs? Yes, she'll make it, she'll cook it, good job. And what about the toast? Who's gonna make the toast? Meg, yes. And, you know, toast and eggs and jam and milk. What kind of meal is this family eating? Breakfast, yes, good job. Let's go ahead to page five. Are you there? Okay, read it with me. Nice and loud, good expression. I want to hear your voice. Luke's pet. Luke has a cute black pup. His name is Cole. It is Luke's job to feed Cole. Cole likes to eat meat. Luke gave Cole a beef stick. Will Cole hide it? Cole did not hide the beef stick. Cole ate it. So Luke has a job. What's Luke's job? Yes, to feed his pup, to feed Cole. Good. And what will Cole do with the beef stick? Eat it, yes, good job. Um, let's go to page six now. Are you on page six? Let's go to page six with me. Page six says, sad to glad. Mike is Luke's pal. Mike is six. Luke went to see him. Cole must wait at home. Cole is sad. Cole sits on the rug and waits. So why did Luke go to see Mike? Yes, because Mike is sick. Oh no, poor Mike. We hope he feels better. Okay, and it says Mike is Luke's pal. What does that mean? What does pal mean? Good, it's another word for friend. Good job. Okay, let's keep reading page seven. Luke is home. Cole wags his tail and runs to Luke. Luke hugs Cole. Cole is glad. So how does Cole show that he's glad when Luke comes home? Yes, he wags his tail. That's how doggies show they're happy. Good job. Okay, let's flip it over. Page eight. At the seaside, Meg digs in the sand. Fill the pail, Meg, says Dad. Dad and Meg dig a sand cave. Okay, there's a sight word there. What does that sight word say? Says, good job. So who made a sand cave? 
Dad and Meg. Cool. Have you ever made a sand king? What about a sand castle? Yes, sand castles are so much fun. Okay, page nine. Luke tugs on Mom's hand. Let's wait in the sea, says Luke. Mom takes Luke's hand. A big wave came. The sand cave fell in. Mom and Luke got wet, but Luke is safe. So what did Mom and Luke do? Yes, good job, wade in the sea, awesome. Now let's go to page 10. We're almost done, almost done with the book, page 10. Pond fun. Matt came to see Luke. Matt and Luke rode bikes to the pond. See the nine ducks, says Luke. I like the toads, says Matt. So how did Matt and Luke get to the pond? They rode bikes, yes. And how many ducks did they see? Nine, good job. Let's read page 11 now. Pam and Meg went to the pond to make mud pies. Pam and Meg made a mess, but Pam and Meg had fun. So what did Pam and Meg make at the pond? Mud pies. <gasps> Have you ever made mud pies? Oh my gosh, I used to make all sorts of mud pies when I was a little kid. I used to love playing the mud. Okay, let's go ahead and go to page 12 now. Page 12, are you with me? Run, hop, jump. Luke likes to run and hop and jump. Luke runs up the hill to meet Dad. Dad waves at Luke. Luke has fun. So to whom did Luke run up the hill to meet? Yes, his dad, good. Now page 13. Luke hops on a rock to see the mailman. The mailman waves at Luke. Luke has fun. Luke jumps on the bed. Luke has fun. On what did Luke jump? The bed. Uh-oh, is it safe jumping on the bed? Not safe jumping on the bed. We should not be jumping on the bed, Luke. Tell him, Luke, you should not be jumping on the bed, Luke. Good job. Let's flip it over to page 14. Uh-oh. Let's see what it says. Mom is not glad. Mom is sad. Do not jump on the bed, Luke, says Mom. Luke must sit on the bed. Luke will not jump on the bed next time. Luke's mom is not glad. She's sad. Why is she sad? Yeah, because Luke was jumping on the bed. We told him not to. Is it safe to jump on the bed? No, of course not. Gotta be careful. Met beds are made for sleeping, not for jumping. Good. Last, very last page, page 15. The rose. Dad gave mom a rose. The rose is red. Mom said it in a vase. Mom gave Dad a big hug. Dad gave Mom a kiss. Did Cole see the kiss? Yes, Cole likes the kiss. Cole gave Luke a big lick. Luke gave Cole a hug. Okay, so now let's talk about this story. What did Dad give Mom? A rose, yes. And what did Mom give Dad? A big hug, good. What about Cole? Cole gave Luke something. What did Cole give Luke? A lick, yes, that's how doggies kiss. And why do you think mom gave dad a hug? It says that mom gave dad a hug. Why do you think so? Yes, I think so too, because she was thankful that he gave her a rose. Good job, you may close your book. You are all done.